So I came across this quote by an American psychiatrist by the name of Morgan Scott Peck and it goes like this. Abandon the urge to simplify everything, to look for formulas and easy answers, and to begin to think multidimensionally, to glory in the mystery and paradoxes of life, not to be dismayed by the multitude of causes and consequences that are inherent in each experience, to appreciate the fact that life is complex. I can't help but totally agree on this and I think anyone who is old enough must have had experiences that edified them about the complexities of life. A revelation that sometimes life does not make sense. Now you know what else reminds this to me? This. Created by Carter Bays and Craig Thomas, this show is beautiful, it is romantic, it is funny as hell and also very intimate. I don't think I'll be able to express my love towards it with just words. Oh wait, there is one. Legendary. 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 The show was much more than friends or families or love and relationships. It certainly was much more than how he meets the mother. All in all, it was about life and its complications. Which is pretty obvious as the whole structure of the show and each episode is about this middle-aged man teaching his kids some valuable lessons he learned along the way. That being said, the show is filled with life lessons and this kind of storytelling gives the writers and the directors much room for being both funny and emotional. Number of times we got episodes which are so painstakingly funny like the pineapple incident or slap bet and the other times we got episodes that showed us the moments of misery and despair at losing someone or something, like bad news or the symphony of illumination. The point is How I Met Your Mother is not a joke machine like the Big Bang Theory and Friends, it is much more intricate than that. The writers felt a responsibility to show not just the goody good stuff but also the gloomy parts of life by going the distance breaking all the conventional rules of a traditional sitcom. And yes, about that. People take no time in comparing How I Met Your Mother with Friends or Big Bang Theory just like I did there, I'm such a hypocrite. But honestly, How I Met Your Mother is very, very different from these two, both in the designing principle of the show but also in the technicalities. Now bear with me when I say that How I Met Your Mother is not a better sitcom than Friends. You son of a bitch. Because it's not just a sitcom. While a sitcom is a situational comedy, which it is, but it has tons of elements of romantic comedy and drama thrown in between which makes it so much different. To completely understand this difference, watch the pilot from all three of these shows and you'll notice one big difference in How I Met Your Mother. And that is the extreme use of editing which is where the rhythm of the show comes from. The timeline is always going places. Fire this up. I mean, it's crazy, but this also makes the show much more dynamic than the others. <laughs> also, you cannot follow the show without visuals because a lot of the jokes comes from the editing, unlike Big Bang Theory or Friends. And because of this editing, the show is also not shot in a traditional way in front of a studio audience with one camera setup. So in a way, How I Met Your Mother creates something different in a familiar form. And I am thankful for that because we got some great episodes like The Time Travelers, The Subway Wars or The Playbook just to name a few which wouldn't have been possible without the editing. Now you may be thinking well this dude is talking about time traveling and weird shit while claiming that How I Met Your Mother is about life. Well then you don't understand what the show is trying to tell you. And that is, life isn't certain. This is the underlying reoccurring theme of the show and this is what I meant when I said that How I Met Your Mother is about life as it is. And this is the truth that there is no certainty in life, there is no formula to live, anything can happen at any time. Now this isn't true just for the tragic moments, the indifferent ubiquitous uncertainty of life can also bring happiness. Let's take Barney, a womanizer who uses plays from his playbook to sleep with women. Who knew he could ever fall in love with Robin? Like seriously, Robin and love? What? 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 Or who knew that Ted's stupid drunk decisions will bring him close to the love of his life? But what sticks are the heart-rending moments, like why is Ted left at the altar even though he did absolutely nothing wrong, or why Marshall's dad died, or Tracy's boyfriend died. There is no story logic behind this, but life logic because these things happen in life, people just don't want to talk about it. This is also reflected on the characters, apart from being well developed, these characters are also unpredictable. There is no hard logic as we see some things about these characters that never change, but sometimes they do. 
And the show never focuses on anything exclusive which makes them seem all too real. It is as if we're watching real people going through a part of their life. And in life, some people change, some people don't. In life, there is no perfect script. Things always change. Sometimes the universe will stand out of its way to help you, while the other times it very unsympathetically conspires against you. And the show kept this as an underlying principle right from the beginning up till the finale. Oh yes, let's talk about the finale. The episode Last Forever got aired on 31st March of 2014 and people went absolutely crazy on this. The ending was extremely polarizing, either someone absolutely loved it or someone absolutely hated it, which happened to be the majority in this case. Now there have been many shows before How I Met Your Mother with a touching twisty ending and they weren't received by the audience as badly as this. So why now did we started hating such endings? It's simple. Yep, this motherfucker. I'm just kidding, I love this show. You see, Friends was the greatest success for the sitcom genre. And when it ended, civilization was at the point of extinction. People were like, oh my god, there's no point living anymore. The thing is, people needed another show, nay, another Friends. And next year, they got it, which even helped the show to gain more viewers over time. But there was one problem. Jack! It wasn't Friends. Now that is the worst thing that can happen to a show. So in a way, Friends assisted the show but also hindered it. People had these crazy expectations that the show will follow the same formula as Friends, aka the happily ever after, which it didn't. But expectations aren't bad, as a matter of fact, the show teased us with this happily ever after with everything they got. I mean seriously, the name of the show is How I Met Your Mother, which means he will eventually meet the mother, which means that it is gonna be a happy ending. And the same is with Barney and Robin, we saw their relationship grow up from season to season to the point that we know they absolutely love each other. And everything was perfect. But then, life happened, as it always does. And this is what the show was all about. About the saddest moments juxtaposed with the happiest ones. Think about it. Every great moment is either preceded or followed by a tragic one. Remember the finale of the first season, the point the show made it clear what's it about. It is not about the mother, it is about all the other things the sweet and sour life has to offer. This has been the case throughout the show and thus the finale and why shouldn't it be? Why should a finale deviate from the ultimate theme of the show? Instead, it should confirm it and that's what How I Met Your Mother does. It tells us that life has chapters and at last there is always an ending. But the ending isn't something you thought about or something you plan on doing. Some things are not in your control and it's not something most of us like to face. But for everything beautiful, the ending will always be the worst. Like their friendship or the marriage, or the love story, or even the show. But does that mean that all of this didn't matter? You see, part of the premise of the show was that does something has to last forever to have value? So the love, the special moments, the memories between these people don't matter because now it's gone. No, I think that it's such a depressing way to think. I feel that there is something magical about two people coming together to take a shot at it against all the odds, let alone Barney and Robin. They got the hints along the way that it is gonna be hard for this marriage to survive. But that's the best part, they still got married because they love each other so much so that they're willing to ignore everything. And that is worth some value even if it didn't work out. The same is with Ted. Even after Tracy got sick, he was still thankful for meeting this beautiful woman and spending his life with her. And that is the beauty of love. I'm sorry if it sounds like a cliché, but that's the truth, life is a cliché. But that is not the greatest lesson How I Met Your Mother gave me. The greatest lesson comes from Ted, and that is, be grateful for life as it is. Life is a beautiful mess, soon you'll find your place that will make you feel like it's all fine and in control. But you'll have to make the most out of it because sooner or later that will end and it will be painful as hell. But don't you worry, your story is never actually finished. Every ending leads to a new beginning with new discoveries and new hope. And it's okay to look for that. So go out there, find your place, have some drinks, go get your girl because time will catch up with you sooner than you think. But trust me when I say that it's never too late to start.
At the end, I want to say that yes, how I met your mother ended in a more adult way. But it's safe to admit that all of us learned an important lesson, even if some of us didn't like it. I think we should be grateful that we got a show like this out there, a show that goes an extra mile trying to teach us something valuable and truthful about life, which it does, and that was the show's general idea. General idea? <laughs> Hey what's up guys, I'm very happy I finished this video, I really really love this show but this video took a lot of my time so if you enjoyed watching, please like and share this video that will help me a lot. Let me know what you think about the video in the comment section below. If you're new and you wanna watch more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel and watch my previous videos. Now it is time for me to leave, I'm really tired and hungry for a sandwich if you know what I mean. I'm just kidding. Peace.